I have an appointment to do brow lamination. Oh, so cute. Birthday girl! This is epic. <laughs> but now it is time to go to a shoot at the Capitol. We got some good stuff, ladies, this I need time. Glasses. Hey, y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new week in my life vlog. My name is Sonali, and if you guys are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you guys like long vlogs, I post them every single Sunday, except for last Sunday because I decided to post my Sunday reset on the Sunday because I just thought that would make more sense. But I'm going to post the week in my life probably like tomorrow, which if you already subscribe, you probably have seen already. It is Monday, it's currently 12 15, and I had a pretty busy morning. I had a shoe which was in like bee caves area. I honestly don't even know half the time where I go. I just like put it in my mask and it takes me there. Um, but that was pretty far. So I had a one hour shoe over there at a blogger's house. And then I went to Barton Creek Mall because I knew it was kind of like on the way ish and I returned a couple things that I got from Abercrombie because like some of the things just like didn't fit me how I wanted them to and I explained this in my Abercrombie haul I don't know when that's going up but pretty much I don't know like if I'm like getting the right size especially for my tops ever since I got my breast reduction I measured this area the other day because I was like online shopping and it said it was a D and I'm like please, please. <laughs> I did not pay to be a D. So I don't know. I'm kind of sad about that. I definitely wish I got them smaller. I feel like I keep saying that, but I was deciding if I wanted to just like exchange the pieces for smaller sizes, but honestly, I didn't really have that much time to like look too much around in store. Although I did see a couple jackets that were so cute. I'll pop them on the screen. I literally was obsessed with this one North Face like Sherpa jacket like last season and I'm pretty sure it was out of stock like the whole winter and so I couldn't even get my hands on it and I was stupid expensive so like I don't think I could even justify it but they made a dupe for that little teddy puffer jacket and it is so cute I tried it on and it just like makes me look so marshmallowy so like I don't know it just like maybe wasn't the vibe I don't know if it would have looked better with like leggings because I feel like sweatpants make me look a lot bigger but anyways, I was eyeing that and I do have one in-store gift card because I bought like one thing um, like more than 30 days ago so I couldn't get like it back on my card. But the other things, I honestly thought I would be getting store credit for those too. Um, but luckily I got it on my card. So I feel very productive. Like why do you feel the most productive when you finally return the things that you've been dreading to return? Um, and that reminds me, I actually have to return my old iPhone. I think I have like 14 days to do so. I'm still like posting like TikTok drafts from my old iPhone because it doesn't transfer over. So that's why I've been holding on to it. And I also need to transfer like all my Lightroom presets over. I literally brought it with me so I could do it today. Um, but I don't think I even mentioned where I am or what I'm doing right now. Um, I am about to go on a coffee date with my friend Newman at the new Manana location. Honestly, I've never even been to the original location which is located on south congress i've seen it and it looks so cute so i'm very very excited to check it out i'm not sure if they have like seating inside because like i was trying to look through like the yelp photos and i didn't see anything i do see like kind of some stuff outside just like little picnic -y chair kind of things um and i was planning on being here for a while so if it's not very comfortable i'll probably just go back home and i'm totally fine with that because it is a cloudy and it said it was going to be rainy but i didn't really see like that much rain i think it like rained more in the morning um and it's also 69 degrees outside and this week is going to be pretty cold here which is insane because literally yesterday it was 90 degrees and then on thursday i'm actually going home so i don't know if i want to make that a separate vlog or what, but I'll keep you guys updated. Hi, vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Intro yourself. Oh, hi, I'm Moon Parker. I'm a TikToker here in Austin, and I'm friends with Sonali. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go get our coffee. <laughs> I 
this chai and it is honestly one of the best chais I've had because it's so creamy. I did ask for oat milk, but it's like kind of like a little bit more like of that spicy flavor, not spicy, but like spiced flavor. It's so, so good. Definitely coming back for this. I just told Newman that he has to like actually post on like to know it. He just did his I first like to know first post. like to know dot it post. And it's all thanks to Sonali. Linking his sambas. Yes, my black Adidas sambas. Go get them. Uh, there's a link. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> I'm back home and I have to upload a bunch of photos from the shoot this morning and from my shoots yesterday. I don't think I said this, but I had some holiday minis yesterday. I don't know if this year I did it too early in the year, but I didn't have too many people interested, which is totally fine because I'd honestly rather have a full length session because I am not as rushed. Like it's honestly so hard to think of like, so many poses to fit in 20 minutes so i'd rather you know like take my time like maybe you know pull up some pinterest inspo and and sometimes honestly i do feel really stupid looking up some like pinterest inspo and usually i have like boards already created so that if i'm ever blanking on a shoe i can just pull it up um but i always feel like so dumb when i have to look at it because my clients are probably like like you know don't you have the poses in your mind but like there's definitely my go-to poses but when I'm really feeling like, okay, we've already done a sitting one, we've already done a walking one, but then I wanna do something a little bit more creative, then I like go to Pinterest. And I feel like it's not really that looked down upon, like I just, it's just all in my head. So anyways, um, so I had those yesterday, they went well, and now I am going to finish editing a um, sponsored TikTok. I was supposed to do it at the coffee shop, but every time I have like a little coffee date with a creator or honestly even just a friend, I feel like I never get really that much done because we're always just talking and like brainstorming. And I was even telling Newman like, oh my God, like I feel like we didn't really get that much done. But then I was thinking like, we were literally brainstorming the whole entire time. Like I was teaching him about like to know it. He was helping me with TikTok tips. So I feel like, you know, we were working. <laughs> but now I really have to like do the editing and submit this. Um, and then later at 4.45, I have an appointment to do brow lamination. And I haven't done this in a while, but I was just really feeling like my brows are just like a little thin. And the first time I ever got them laminated, I just felt like they were thick out of nowhere. So I wanna try it again. Since I'm going home, I just like, you know, maybe like, will have more no makeup days. And I feel like whenever my brows are laminated, like I can just do less to my brows. So that's always nice. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of work before I have to go. And then tonight is Monday and Bachelor in Paradise is on tonight. I have a friend's birthday to go to tomorrow night. So usually my friends come over on Tuesdays, but I was like, can we do Monday? Because I um, cannot do Tuesday, but I still want to hang out with you guys because I'm going home on Thursday and I have a shoot on Wednesday, so I can't hang out then. So yeah, I'm excited for tonight, just seeing my friends chilling out um, because I feel like these past few days, I like filmed so much stuff on the weekend that I just need to take like a break from my phone and just like be distracted with other people. I just got to the brow lamination place and honestly I'm ready to relax for an hour. Usually during these appointments like if I get a lash lift, if I get like a brow lamination, I always fall asleep because <laughs> it's just like so relaxing when they like play with your face. Lash lifts like not as relaxing because I feel like they kind of burn like sometimes shit gets in your eye and it literally hurts but the brow lamination is definitely relaxing because it's like so light that they like fluff them up here's the before okay here's after they look so good she tweezed them and just kind of like even them out i just feel like i don't know i just prefer them like really up like this what do you guys think so good i also told her i was like i feel like it's just easier to fill in your brows when they're up like this because you can like kind of follow the lines even more i'm home now and since my friends are coming over i thought i would just put together a tiny cheese board honestly made up of a bunch of stuff that we had on thursday night for like spooky movie night so we had the brie cheese they left it with me and i was like 
perfect. I'll just repurpose it for bachelor night. And then I also got some spinach dip and carrots. I know one of my friends loves like her dip. So I thought of her at the grocery store and picked that up. And then we have some prosciutto. So I'm going to put that on the board. I wash my hands, swear. Um, I don't really care about making this like super pretty right now, but, uh, is this just like a really thick piece? I guess so. Maybe I'll just like, I don't know. I feel like that's weird. I don't know how to place this. Maybe I'll just put the stack of meat on the board. Like that's, I, I'm not really sure. But Bachelor in Paradise is happening soon. And then I still have like kind of a lot of work to do. Um, like I just have to send out a bunch of um, raw galleries to my photo clients so that they can pick their favorites. Usually photographers call and select the client's photos like for them. But personally, I think, you know, everyone has their own insecurities and I don't know, like, maybe if I think they look really great in this photo, but they're like, oh, but my arm in that photo could look better or whatever. So anyways, I like to let my clients choose their own favorites. Um, and I use a website called Pixie Set. If you guys are a photographer and you're not using Pixie Set, you need to because it just makes my life so much easier. Good morning, it is Tuesday. This place is a disaster, but an organized mess because we have like all our outfits laid out for my branding shoot today. Um, I'm not really sure if I told you guys yet, but I am getting a new photography website. So I wonder if you guys can tell what the accent color is. I did go with a light blue because I feel like coastal colors are just so classic. Um, and we have all the outfits laid out some extras just in case we have time or we want to switch it up really quick um i got a casual outfit did the blazer i'm kind of mad though because i ordered stuff from fashion pass paid 30 dollars to get it expedited shipping it didn't come so had to work with what i got but luckily i think i actually got like some good outfits to choose from um we got like a more casual like cardigan dealio here and then i kind of pulled all these accessories. I got this Air One bottle when I was in LA visiting my um, family and I put like a greens packet. I literally like randomly found it. It's perfect because I was like, this would look really cute on like a desk or something. Um, I just feel like this is a statement piece. So I feel like the bag was going to be good to bring. Headphones is obviously, you know, something you wear on the computer. Then I got my little journal just in case we want to do some photos with that. So, yeah, and I also felt like I needed a hat because I feel like every photographer just wears hats in the, you know, branding photos. So I don't know if I'm going to love it, but I'm bringing it just in case. All right, here's the first outfit minus the shoes. I'm probably going to wear heels, but obviously I didn't want to drive in them. This top is actually from Amazon, and I literally just FaceTimed my mom, and she was like, oh, is that from Skims? I was like, no, it's from Amazon, but it literally is so good, and the quality feels amazing. I'm just wearing two little nippies, and I did bring some bras for, like, the other outfits and stuff, and I'm so excited. Like, I feel like I should have planned it a little bit better, but, like, I was, like, literally, like, half asleep scrolling through Pinterest, like saving photo info to my Pinterest boards and like just poses and stuff and writing down like random like props that I should bring. And then I think right now I'm gonna go to like a coffee shop if I have time, I don't even know what time it is, um, and get like a matcha and a chai. I feel like it could be cute like if I did like a literal photo with a matcha and a chai and be like, can't choose or something, I don't even know. <laughs> but um, I don't know where to go, maybe greater goods. But last time I went early in the morning, it was like prime coffee time and I'm not a coffee drinker, so I didn't know that. And um, it was busy as shit. So I tried looking up if I could do a to-go order, but I wasn't able to. But I think we have like a good like 30 minutes. So let's go. Guys, I have this thing stuffed, but also there's like a stool in there because I didn't know if there would be like a stool at her studio. So I just wanted to bring it in case and kind of like shoes and accessories, all my outfits, hats, beauty stuff, just touch-ups and everything. And I think we're ready. We got the goods. I got a chai and a matcha, you know, go all out for the shoe. The chai's in the back in the door somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't spill. Um, and the drive to the studio is about 24 minutes and I am, early i am not late and not rushed and this is like the best feeling ever 
Also, I wish I brought my curler because what the frick? Oh, we'll just hide it. Um, so I'm just putting that in my maps. I actually saw my friend in the coffee shop, so that was fun. Austin's like very small. Like they say it's a small city, but low key, like if you go outside of your house, you're probably going to see someone you know. And I honestly like it. Like I'm not complaining. I love seeing my friends out. So anyways, I'm gonna go drive over to the studio. Um, on the way here, I noticed that um, my car was feeling a little crazy and one of my tires was 14. The air pressure, 14. I just remember Ryan saying like never to drive on teens. So that's fun. I will be at the tire shop right after this. We just got to the studio. The studio is actually back there, but this is the little waiting room. I'm with <laughs> Sana. Hi, I'm Sana. I am a newborn maternity family photographer. I specialize in full service photography. So all the way from wardrobe to frames, um, I got you covered. Yes, her wardrobe. Oh my God, can we show them? Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. She has it all for like families, kids, newborns wow <laughs> it's insane i honestly do want to like see about these light yeah, blue dresses yeah. if possible yeah for sure I have, like, how cool is that 200 so oh much. my god that's insane <laughs> oh like, i love that bench uh, yeah <laughs> so cute so i mean i feel like so this is like that blind canvas yeah kind of which i love so i usually will get like a chair like you perfect know, something, so standing chair cool. everything here um, like I said, with those are more like lifestyle, like more. Yes. Like Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. All right. Ready? Oh, so cute. And then look up at me. Um, let's just do like when you were like just on the computer, like looking like kind of away that way. Yeah. And then do that fake laugh. And then look at me. Okay, I borrowed this beautiful dress. From her wardrobe closet. Where is this one from? Do you know? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you have too many dresses. I have too many dresses to keep track of. Keep track of. Yeah, yeah. But it's like perfect. It's like my legit brain color. I love it. Yeah, perfect. Relax the shoulders. I like this because it's like. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. So maybe like let's do. You know, you're holding your camera and then keep Austin weird. And then I'm gonna get one close up on you just doing that keep Austin. So cute. Oh my god, so cute! Yay! I'm definitely gonna put some um, pictures in this vlog, but we literally killed it. We did so many outfits. So it's many easy clothes. when your model knows exactly what to do, so <laughs> my job was very easy. Well, <laughs> it's also because I'm a photographer, so I kind of know, like, you know, chin down, mm -hmm. lean forward, like, you know, I know the, like, little things. Makes working easy then. Yeah. No, I totally feel that. Um, but this is so fun. If you guys are looking for, like, a family, newborn photographer, aka person with a studio, <laughs> a beautiful studio, a wardrobe, like definitely hit her up. She is located, are we in Round Rock right No, now? we're still in Austin. Okay, okay. <laughs> it um, is North Austin. North Austin, so, yeah. yeah. Cool, perfect. <laughs> Just chilling in Discount Tires air check line for the fifth week in a row. And honestly, I know, I know you guys are telling me to um, just get a new tire and I definitely need to. But low key Ryan's coming back here and I think I'm gonna ask him for himself with it. So I'm just trying to fill it up and hope for the best. But um it's like all of a sudden went back to like 16, so that's better than 14. Um, but the shoot was amazing and I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with all this content. Like obviously some of the photos are gonna be on my website, but I don't really even post on my photography Instagram that much, which should change and i don't post my face at all really um which again should change because i feel like 
my clients need to know like who they're working with, who, who they're like DMing with. So I'm very excited to like sit down and edit them. But it's funny because I did her family's photos on Saturday morning and she was like, so I imported them, but I haven't really looked at them because I'm just like so busy and like I just feel like that's the last thing to do on my list. And I honestly will probably feel the same way. Like I will probably have them in my Lightroom for like weeks and then finally start to edit and look at them. But honestly, I'll try to make that a priority when I go home is to like cull them and edit them. And I need to send them to my web designer so that she could like, you know, input them into my site. Um, so I'm getting really excited about my new website and hopefully she sends me a new update soon. Um, cause I'm just really excited to see it. And I probably want to show my parents when I get home and just like ask for their feedback. I got the air and now it's time to go home. I just changed my outfit. <laughs> this is definitely more my vibe. I love my neutrals. I don't know why. I just don't love wearing black, but I don't know if this is like too casual, but she said dressy casual, so I'm taking that as in dressy casual. And also we're going to be sitting on a pillow apparently, so I want to be comfy. And these jeans are super comfy. They're from like Silver Jeans Co. They sent me jeans and I've never heard of the brand. I think they're sold at Nordstrom, but like seriously my most comfortable jeans. I wish they made like cuter styles. I don't know, I feel like this was the only style that I really liked. But if they made more mom jeans, take all my money. Birthday girl! This is epic. Her little Halloween birthday bash. I love it. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. This morning I went on a walk on Lady Bird Lake Trail with my friend Maddie and then I came home. I got on a call with my video editor and I took a shower, made some breakfast, answered a few emails and then I got ready and now I am going to the um, dentist's office for my veneers because I'm getting retainers. Um, I don't know how often I'm gonna have to wear them because <laughs> I already know myself and I'm I, I never really wore my Invisalign retainer um, so shall be interesting and then after that I have to shoot another brand campaign and I'm meeting up with my friend Natasha that I actually saw last night we were just like hey you know if you're ever down to shoot let's do it and I was like actually I need to shoot tomorrow so if you're free let's do tomorrow and so we're gonna shoot on South Congress and then later tonight I have an engagement shoot and they want to do it in the Capitol which I've never really shot in so that's gonna be super fun and get me out of my comfort zone a little bit so let's start this Wednesday even though I've already started it but you know what I mean. I got the retainers for like my veneers and she basically said that you can use them as like bleaching trays and then I was like how often do I really have to wear them because I know myself and I'm not gonna wear them every night and she said she had her veneers done like two years ago and like they haven't shifted yet so she said like if you put them in and they're really tight then they have shifted and you should probably wear them more often but like if you if you think you're fine then i guess you're fine so that's good to know i just got to natasha's place i'm picking her up and we're gonna shoot near south congress i was thinking at first we would shoot near the east side but i feel like just south congress has some better backgrounds and honestly I don't know what the lighting's gonna look like right now because it's like midday 146 so I'm really hoping that we can find like some shaded areas I don't think we'll have an issue because like there are pretty big buildings on South Congress okay. here with Natasha when we're at Everlane I feel like this is such a good spot to shoot it's just a go-to and I got my matcha from literally yesterday that I'm still using as a prop so I really got my money's worth with this Okay, so I'm telling Sonali a few things about my content taking these days. So if I'm taking a picture of my outfit, I'll always take a selfie, wide angle selfie, 
of my outfit and then a picture like this to show and then a picture of the surrounding scene and like the accessories and stuff so for example I was wearing this purse sunglasses and the matcha so I'm gonna take a picture but I'm also gonna take a video and when I take the video you press this little button here and it takes pictures too so that's a really good hack so you can get a good cover photo for the reel if that's you're using smart. that video yeah or just pictures like color photos and things like that and also when you're taking the videos of yourself like just have the person do the press the button meanwhile yeah that's really smart yeah. social media tips from natasha <laughs> <laughs> even though sonali is the queen hey we can both learn from each other true, true. second outfit and I'm wearing my little pink puffer, which I love so much. Honestly, I do want to buy something like this in a color that's like more neutral, like a tan. But I got this in Italy when I didn't believe that it was going to be freezing. So I had to get something to keep me warm the whole time. And I literally wore the same exact sweater. So fun times. <laughs> but we're going to shoot on these stairs because they're very white, neutral with the greenery. It's going to look good. The lighting looks good. So it's a win. Look how cute this little pumpkin patch thing is. If you're in Austin and you want a little fall setup, music lane. And it's right by Sun Life. Okay, we just wrapped. Never mind, Natasha's always taking taking pics, so she's never done. <laughs> Job is never done. <laughs> myself in my office for like 30 minutes and submitted some brand stuff that was due today. So happy I got that done. But now it is time to go to a shoot at the Capitol and I am gonna try to bring like a smaller backpack because my usual camera bag is so big. I just don't wanna like look sketchy or anything because we're going inside the Capitol. And I think I've taken my camera before, like the first time I went. So, but, oh wait, I can't remember if I had my smaller camera or not. Oh well, I guess we'll find out. She asked if we could take photos and they said yes, so. Hopefully everything goes well. and I had so much to do I uploaded the photos and then I ate dinner and then I procrastinated watched some YouTube and then I started packing and it wasn't like the most horrible thing I definitely was dreading it this whole time because I just have so much to bring home I literally just went through kind of like all my skincare and PR and stuff that I haven't gotten the chance to use and I don't want it to go to waste and like expire and it's really hard when like you get, well, it's not hard when you get so much skincare because it's I'm, because I'm very grateful for it, but it's hard when you already have your skincare routine and your skin is like more on the sensitive side and you don't want to like try something just to like fuck up your face, you know? So I have a giant gallon bag full of products and I'm going to give it to my sister and my mom and then, um, Everything else is just jackets. Like, jackets are taking up way too much damn space in my suitcase. And I'm going home for Thanksgiving and then going straight to New York. So I'm I'm terrified because New York, I need like actual puffer coat, like, you know, layers on layers on layers. And my friend Maddie, she's from Philly. And <laughs> this morning she was like, Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna need something you know, a little bit more hefty for New York. And I'm like seriously scared. Like, I don't know why I didn't really think like December would be like that cold, like everyone's telling me. Um, like, you know, I thought it was just gonna be like normal cold, but people are like, New York cold is a different kind of cold. So I'm terrified because I am a baby when it comes to cold. Even this morning, I had like so many layers on and Maddie came in like a aloe sweatshirt and leggings. And I was like, girl, what? <laughs> She's like, I'm used to this, 
I'm like, wow, this is probably year 75 when it was like 49 outside. I mean, it didn't really feel like 49, but I just like to be more prepared than not, you know? But I have my little, um, is this a carry-on size? I guess it is. That one feels like 50 pounds. It's so heavy, but apparently it was only 38. I don't know. And then this one I haven't weighed yet, but I tried to put like the more heavy stuff in that one. So like my makeup and the, the bag of PR, all that kind of stuff. And then this suitcase really just has like sweaters and clothes, which are on the lighter side, thank God. And when I come back home, I will have a lot more space in my suitcases because the PR will be gone. Um, I brought my mom like some shoes too. Oh, Ryan asked me to bring his puffer vest, so those will be gone on my suitcase. That will be nice. Really quickly, I just wanted to share my luggage. I think I did. No, I think I unboxed them in a vlog. I don't think I did a whole video like reviewing them, but I love this color so much. The only thing is it gets dirty because I don't put the covering on because like I don't really understand. It did come with a covering and I do see people have like a full luggage cover on their luggage in the airport, but I'm like, Literally, what is the point? It's supposed to be cute. People are supposed to see it. Like, other than protecting it, which obviously <laughs> you can see a little skin marks over here. Um, and then this is the biggest one they sell, which honestly is not that big. Like, I actually have a bigger one. You can see it right there, which is broken. Um, and I thought it was going to be that size, so I'm kind of sad about that. But I guess it's fine. So, yeah, RIP to that bag. Apparently has lifetime warranty, so my mom said I should bring it back during December and she can get it fixed and use it. Also, I didn't remember to vlog, but I did take some iPhone clips of Sophie in her Halloween costume. Of course, Sophie has her Halloween costume before I even really know what I'm gonna be, but she's gonna be Stitch. I literally wanted her to be this for the past two Halloweens and I just didn't really order it in time. I would always say like, oh, it's gonna come in like November 2nd. And I'm like, great, so I'll just wait till next year. And this year is the year. She is so cute. And um, I was literally telling Ryan, we just need to take her out on like a long walk on Halloween weekend. And like literally every day, she's gonna wear the Stitch costume. Cause it's like a little sweater too. So maybe, well, hopefully it'll be like on the chillier side so she won't be too hot. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. It's 7.20 a.m. and I just gave Sophie a bath really quick cause I'm about to drop her to the um, pet sitter and I just didn't want her to like, you know, smell bad I, I don't i don't really think she smells bad often but i did want her to smell good for him so <laughs> excuse you sophie sophie looks so pretty she's ready to go to the dog sitter look at me are you gonna miss me are you pretty <laughs> She always cries like the first one or two days. But oh. She's like, okay, I think I'll get over it. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. It's a lot later in the day, and we're actually all getting ready to go to dinner. This is the fit of the night. I'm wearing this bodysuit that I got from Amazon. I think I showed you guys in this vlog but i wore it for my like branding shoe and it just like honestly the material is amazing i'm going to get more colors if i haven't already said that yet um and then this blazer is from princess polly and i got my white abercrombie jeans on and then i just went with the sneakers i remember one time i went to my grandma's in california and she was like the one wish i have for when you guys come is just please don't bring a lot of shoes like all you need is like slippers and sneakers and a nice shoe or whatever and i feel like every time after that i really tried to minimize how many shoes i bring like to any trip because honestly i don't wear them all so i tried to really like plan on my outfits and look and see like what exact shoes i need so i literally brought my clear dolce vita heels these new balance sneakers and then my like um slipper uggs I was gonna bring two pairs of Uggs, but I was like, that is not necessary. So I, even though I brought two suitcases, I feel like I was definitely more on the minimal side. And like I said, my mom and my sister haven't like taken out the PR and stuff yet, but they're gonna take that out. And that's gonna like probably relieve my suitcase of at least like 15 pounds. 
Hello and welcome to the Nisha Show. It's actually the Sonali Show and you're a guest. Guest starring Nisha. Mm-hmm. When I get ready, my room is a disaster. That's okay. And I feel like I have no clothes. I feel that too. Say hello to the vlog. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> I like your little bunny ears. <laughs> you gave them to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was in your giveaway pile. I got some more for you guys. Oh, really? Okay. But we have to do it after we get back so okay. we don't yes. distract ourselves. Yes. On a very tight time yeah, crunch. Yeah. Yes. I just switched my lens on my camera and added my flash to it because I am going to take my mom's headshot. I feel like whenever I'm not here, all of a sudden she randomly needs a headshot. So I was like, when I come, we're going to take a headshot so that you have it in case you ever need it again. Say hi. Hi. You ready for your close up? Yes. Literally. <laughs> what you got on, sis? Hello. The shirt. <laughs> you don't have to say hello every time. Oh, sorry. Okay. Keep going. Um, this shirt is from my sister's closet. These pants are Spanx, and I need new ones because they're literally so faded. I and like them. Thank you. I want Spanx stuff. They're, yeah, it was on Black Friday sale like five years ago. Oh, that's smart. Um, these shoes, I don't know where they're from. I think North's from Rack because five years ago. And then this jacket, Boohoo before I knew Boohoo was so bad, but let's be real, fast fashion that sees boobs. So <laughs> that's stop. actually funny because I feel like it, it like usually doesn't. Fashion Nova did a great job, too. I'm sorry. You know what? Do what works for you. Wait, where is that bag from? Oh, this bag is from Columbia. I just came back on a trip, and I planned the whole trip myself, and it was a lot of fun. If you need any tips for Medellin, and yes, they pronounce it Medellin in Colombia, let me know. Have you ever tried this place before? I haven't, but I heard it's the best ceviche um, in Atlanta right now, and I love seafood, and I know you do too. Yes. I just wanted to do something different than sushi, and this, the Santa Lake would be really good for us. Any I'm, thoughts? I'm the driver. <laughs> You're for the ride. Okay, That's you're nice food because too. you never used to be the driver. <laughs> what? You used to make me drive, remember? Oh. <laughs> there was a period in time. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna walk over here. Wait, where are we, Nisha? What's this area you said? Um, Virginia like Highlands, right? Or no? I guess it's like, it's Virginia Highlands, Atkins Park. Like, all of them are so close together. I feel like, oh, hello. I feel like it's um, Virginia. I feel like it's Virginia Highlands, yeah. We had this restaurant that we always used to go to as a family. It was called, Mommy? Pura Vida. And it was right there, right? At the barbecue place? Yeah. yeah, I think so. So, oh, backstory. So I yeah. think I think these people, um, Tio Luchos, was inspired by Pura Vida. Like, they grew oh, up really? in Atlanta. <gasps> Stop. Like, that used to be one of their favorite restaurants. Uh, it better be. I, think I will I die. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe it was, I think it was here. But I was be. like, that's one of my favorite restaurants, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it used to be on this little corner. And then it, what, what happened? Huh? <laughs> I don't even know. It just, like, disappeared. <laughs> it was very sad because we used to go all the time. Also, I mean, like prices increase, people can't afford the rent that they're in. And well, that was a long time. So, I mean, it's also so weird to see like Georgia Bulldogs that stuff reminds around me here. Of the, um, the guy we used to get a haircut from, Van Michael Salon. That looks fancy, but it's weird to see like Bulldog stuff here because it's like normal. But like, I think I'm in Texas seeing a, oh, you know what I mean, yeah. Bulldog stuff. They're like, oh, are you from Georgia? Exactly. And they're like, I'm in Georgia. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, Nisha, where are we going now? Or where are we? So now we're in Decatur Square, which is closer to, you know, um, where we reside. I'm not gonna tell you where, because that's creepy. Mm -hmm. But we are going to my favorite place to get Trace Litch's um, cake. And I actually came here for my birthday in 2021 with my friend, and I've been coming here since literally their happy hour is the best happy hour, four to six Wait, every did day. did you say the restaurant? White Bull. Oh. Best, best happy hour, best translation cake, not on happy hour, but still good.
we're back home from dinner and I just realized that I could possibly borrow some of my mom's Indian jewelry for Diwali. I like those. Shall we spread it out? Mm. You like this? What's this? I feel like I remember. Yeah. These. Yeah. You were supposed to wear them for? with an outfit. Yeah, I do for remember the, that. For the um, beauty contest. Oh, that's. And you yeah. never wore any. Fun fact theory. I was in two Indian pageants. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll post some pictures on the screen if I can find those. Like these. Oh, that like this is like costume jewelry. Yeah. Well, All I guess everything. Yeah. Jewelry. Um. Wait, I mean, there's the, more because the I outfit's mean, gold. Uh huh. So. Okay, let's. Uh, there's more. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we found these. We're looking for some more stuff. I don't know if that like because it's so yellow. Uh huh. Like clash with the. I don't it's know. It's almost like a beige, yet, like gold. Oh. Hmm. And this was. Well, we do got options. This is. I think this goes. Fun fact: this. My name means gold, right, mommy? Mm-hmm. Or golden child? I never understand. Gold. Really? Not golden child? So... No. Are you sure? Yeah, my mom mm -hmm. just calls you Thungum, so. Oh. Well, this is a little keychain, and women would. Um, tuck it into their sari skirts, so it would go in like smart. that. And then, wait, and then do oh, and it's then just, hang on your keys. Yeah, I mean it's a decorative keychain <laughs> that you put in the sari skirt. I mean it's kind of smart. So every time I come back home, my mom and my sister love when I bring home beauty products and PR. So I brought this <laughs> whole freaking bag. You got some good stuff, ladies, this I need time. My glasses. Yeah, go get your glasses. Go mommy. get your glasses. <laughs> Ooh, I need face cream. Um, face cream. Sunday um, Riley. Uh, good jeans? Yeah. No way. I know. For free? I know. You're Are welcome. Are you kidding me? Thank you. You're welcome. You got the good jeans. Nisha was asking for Okay, some but Riley. also tell her. Tell them. Tell them what? That Tell them you introduced me to the brand. Thank you very much. <laughs> I introduced her to Sunday Riley. Yes. And then she's like, I'm doing a dinner with Sunday Riley. And I'm like... <laughs> and then she's like, yeah. And I'm like, so like products? And she's like, maybe. And I'm like, if you don't... So she did. Yes. I came with products. Okay, what's the big tub? Um, The big tub is cleansing balm. It's not face cream. Cleansing balm, glycolic peel pads, oh, mommy. I like that, yeah. I literally, you should watch my video huh. after my TikTok because I said, my mom's probably going to want this one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also said, I was like, every time my mom comes with a list of ingredients, <laughs> hyaluronic acid, I literally said that and you just said you want hyaluronic acid, which I don't know what has that. Oh, Nisha, this one's oil for acne prone skin. Hmm. Yes, I've seen this ad. Oh, really? Yay. Yeah. Shoes. Colors. Oh. Yeah. They're, it's like foundation. Oh my gosh. But no it's like way. light. Yeah. And then we have some Coco Kind. This is a cleanser. Wait, it's, let me see. Mom. It's half used, but you know, that's okay. You're my family. Oh. You don't care. This is cleanser. Oh, this is another bloom one, Nisha. This is fade, fade serum scars. Thank you. Uh -huh. This is exactly what I wanted. Yes, this is so good. <gasps> Thank you. No problem. And then these are the Tula Brightening Eye Balm thingies. And both of you can have one. <gasps> they should just stole all of this freaking Sunday Riley products. <laughs> Sorry. It's for my skin. It's oh, this is the um, makeup the remover. Waxy, creamy. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's like good. balmy. Oh. Yay. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It's Friday and I'm actually going to end the vlog here. Um, I had such a fun night with my mom and sister last night and then today Ryan's going to pick me up so that we can go to dinner with our friends and then I'll probably go back to Alpharetta and stay at my dad's. Um, and look at all these trees. Like I thought it would be fall leaves by now. I mean it's still really pretty but I literally came home thinking that all these leaves were going to be orange and red and yellow and they're still green. And I'm like, what the frick? <laughs> and Ryan sent me so many videos of like, you know, pretty trees. So I think Roswell may be different, but 
I'm just really confused why it's not all like that. So I guess tomorrow morning we'll find out. And I definitely want to take some walks and enjoy the outdoors while I'm back in Georgia. So keep your eyes peeled for the next vlog, the next weekend of my life, because it'll be a fun one. I'm going to the Bali party. I'm so excited. My Indian outfit actually just got to my dad's house. So I need to try it on tomorrow and wait tomorrow. Oh wait, tomorrow's the party. <laughs> uh, but hopefully it fits. I mean, it should, I think, because I got a size large in the same company last time and I just did the same size. So hopefully we should be good. But if you guys want real-time content, because I'm posting a lot on my Instagram and my TikTok, go ahead and follow me there. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.